Hi there. Thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Uh, I know maybe, you know, a lot of people, probably everybody already who is aware of Dr. Sebi, um, knows of his fasting. And let me tell you, that was a shock for me. And because I was like, I was really not in tune, you know, in the last days. And it was my friend who said to me, you know, have you heard that um, Dr. Sebi died? She said, I saw it on Facebook and I was like, no, you're joking. You know, because I was really shocked. It, it was just like, I know he was 82, but I, I, at the time I was thinking, Dr. Sebi, I was, oh my gosh. So I think like most people, I, I was I was on to Google, you know, trying to find out what happened. You know, is this really true? Because I know sometimes they do that. You know, they put out stories about people dying and then when you realize it, it's some kind of hoax. So I was thinking to myself, you know, maybe this is like some kind of hoax or story or so forth. And then when I, you know, I Google, I, I realized, you know, there's information out there. And, you know, even his, his um, official um, Instagram, you know, Dr. Savy Cell Food, um, you know, they had a message there and you know so i was really really saddened by that um, dr savi has been an inspiration to me you know really really an inspiration i mean the things that i have learned um listening to dr savi i don't think I, I i could have learned any other way because a lot of the stuff that he's putting out there, you know, many people aren't, many people aren't putting that kind of information out there. And, you know, he's putting it out there. You can take it, research it, you know, look, you know, add what you want to it or whatever, but you could, you know, this is information that you could dig into and see, you know, and learn so much. And I think, I think the, the most, I know now there is some kind of, um, there's still some, some, um, <clears throat> um, controversy or maybe controversy is not the right word, but there is still some, a bit of mystery surrounding, you know, the, the true circumstances of, you know, how he died in, in incarceration. I, I know that and, and probably we won't, you know, know exactly what happened for um, a while. And um, there are stories of, um, you know, conspiracies and so forth. And I don't know. I don't know what truth is, but I know what Dr. Sebi meant to me and, you know, that he's no longer here. And I know what he meant to many people. And I think, um, I think what i would you know say to anybody you know who have been exposed to dr sebi is that you know it, it doesn't it doesn't end here it can't end here for what he has he has given his whole life to you know bring in the information for to help us to understand that our health start with what we put in our mouths and that is responsible for us being healthy and you know full of vitality and full of life you know as well as it is responsible for us for being you know obese for being diseased you know it's what we put in our mouth and Dr. Sebi has always, you know, he's always been consistent. And what I like about him, you know, he, he always says, you know, it's either I, I, I know or I don't know. I don't go on for philosophies and, and you know, what, basically, you know, what ifs. So he always, you know, present that kind, that, that a picture of, you know, integrity in what he has put forth and you know continuing to work at finding out um, about foods and sharing the information to the benefit of all of us and helping us understand that 
healing start with us and we can heal ourselves and I think that's the greatest legacy uh, because um, one of the things that always you know surprised and not surprised me was that Dr. Sebi was never given a, a thought by the mainstream the credit that he really deserved I mean this man cured practically anything and you would have thought that you know something some someone who has done this kind of work and has has, has put forth this kind of information the, the body of information that he has put forth you would have thought that you know more people would be interested in in you know putting pushing his message and pushing him to the fore but then you realize that there is so much mind control that is going on in this 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 you know world where we are believe that um or what we do is outside of ourselves and we are not responsible we are not responsible for our health we are not responsible you know for what we eat and you know a pill can fix it and everything whatever your doctor say is gospel and if it's not coming from the doctor then it has no validity and and, and so many of us has we have bought into that and I think for those of us who have been touched by Dr. Sebi's, you know, life work and the message that he has tried to put across, should continue to spread the information that he has, you know, worked so hard to uncover for us. We should continue to spread this information to whoever will listen because you know the reality is that we're still in a, a, a minority um you know and 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 it is this message of veganism or plant-based diet you know there are many people who have started to um you know come into it and realize um, that this is the way forward but many have not and we are still in the minority and so you know it is it is you know my dream and and i'm sure that it 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 was his um is what he something that he would have liked to see more also is more and more people taking responsibility for their health taking responsibility for what they put in their mouth and if what we could do we could um, sh spread the information more share the information more and get more people to understand that you know what um it isn't as bad as you think if you just take stock and take responsibility and you know for 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 your health and not everybody will listen not everybody wants to know dr sebi has been fighting a battle ever since you know because it's a battle with the authority it's a battle with the people who you know think this information or herbalism is um, so negative you know and you know it, you, so it, it's 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 a challenging you know place to have been in but Dr. Sebi has fought the good fight Dr. Sebi has fought the good fight Dr. Sebi gone but not forgotten continue to spread the information with as many people who will listen don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta.